Hello my dear students good morning to all welcome back to google classroom in this session we will discuss the remaining questions of exercise 5.2 so we can start our today's session now now exercise 5.2 question number 4 which term of the ap 3 8 13 18 etc is 78 Which term of the AP means we need to find the value of n. Which term means we need to find the value of n. Here the AP is given. Then we can find value of a, value of d. Then which term of the AP is seventy eight? Means the nth term will be seventy eight. Okay. Which term of the AP? Three, eight, thirteen, eighteen, etc. is seventy-eight. Means we need to find the value of n. A n is given as seventy-eight. Okay. Then a is first term that is equal three. D we need to find by subtracting the second term minus first term. So that is eight minus three equal five. So we can write the equation for finding the nth term. So a n equal a plus n minus one into d. Okay. So we can substitute the values of a, d, and a n. Then we will get seventy eight equal three plus n minus one into five. Then we can transpose that three to R H S. Then seventy eight minus three become seventy five. So n minus one into five equal seventy five. So n minus one equal seventy five by five. N equal fifteen plus one equal sixteen. So n equal what? Sixteen. So we can conclude the answer as here the sixteenth term is seventy eight. That is a sixteen equal seventy eight. Okay. So which term means we need to find n. Now the fifth section: find the number of terms in each of the following APs. Number of terms also means n value of n we need to find. Okay, so first question: seven, thirteen, nineteen, etc., two hundred and five. So etc. Last two hundred and five means it will be taken as a n. Okay, so a n is two not five. A is seven. D equal thirteen minus seven. That is equal six. What value we need to find? N value of n we need to find. So substitute the values in the equation. A n equal a plus n minus one into d. So two not five equal seven plus n minus one into six. Then transpose seven to LHS first. So two hundred and five minus seven equal n minus one into six. So two hundred and five minus seven is one ninety eight. Then six we can transpose to LHS. So one ninety eight by six equal n minus one. So thirty three equal n minus one. So thirty three plus one equal n. So we get n equal thirty four. Okay. So here how many terms? Thirty four terms are there. Okay. Now the second question: eighteen, fifteen and a half, thirteen. Etc. Negative forty-seven. So here also we need to find the number of terms n. Then a n is given as negative forty-seven. A is eighteen. What will be d? A two minus a one. Fifteen one by two minus eighteen. That we need to find. Okay. Fifteen one by two minus eighteen. Easily we can find eighteen minus fifteen and a half is. Sixteen and a half, seventeen and a half, and half. So two and a half. Okay. Otherwise, you can do that by the calculation. That is thirty-one by two. Make it as improper. Fifteen one by two is improper. That is thirty-one by two minus eighteen. That eighteen by one. Do the cross multiplication. Then thirty-one into one, thirty-one minus eighteen into two, thirty-six by two into one, two. So thirty one minus thirty six is negative five. So negative five by two is the 
value of d. The 9 is given as negative 47. So here we need to find the value of n. So we can write the equation a n equal a plus n minus 1 into d. Then substitute the values of a n, a and d. So we get negative 47 equal 18 plus n minus 1 into negative 5 by 2. So negative 47 minus 18 equal n minus 1 into negative 5 by 2. So negative 65 into 2 by negative 5. That means we write the reciprocal when we transpose that to LHS. Okay. Equal n minus 1. So 65 and 5 we can cut and get what? 13. So negative 13 into negative 2. That will be 26. Positive 26. So 26 equal n minus 1. So n equal what? 26 plus 1. That is equal 27. So here how many terms? 27 terms. Okay. Now question number 6. Check whether negative 150 is a term of the AP 11, 8, 5, 2, etc. This type of question also we need to find the value of n. There is a condition for the value of n. Value of n should be a whole of number. AP. Okay. So here also we need to find the value of n. If the value of n is a whole number, then we can say that the given term is the term of an AP. Is the term of the AP. Otherwise it is not. Okay. So anyway we need to find the value of n. Here it is given a equal 11. D we need to find 8 minus 11 that is negative 3. A n that is given as negative 150. What we want to check that number we can take as a n. Okay. So here a n equal negative 150. Now we can write the equation a n equal a plus n minus 1 into d. Substitute the values that is 11 plus n minus 1 into negative 3. Then we can transpose 11 to right side. Then negative 150 minus 11. Then negative 3 into n minus 1 equal negative 161. Then n minus 1 equal negative 161 by negative 3. The transposing negative 3 we can transpose to right side. Then it will be division. Okay. So n equal 161 by 3 plus 1. 161 by 3 plus 1. That will be equal 164 by 3. 164 by 3. Doing the cross multiplication. Okay. So we can make it as mixed fraction 164 by 3 we can divide and get the quotient as 53 remainder as 4 so the mixed fraction is 53 4 by 3 here n we got as a fraction form it is not a whole number so what we can conclude hence negative 150 is not a term of the ap negative 150 is not the term of a or not a term of the AP. Okay. Now the next question. Question number 7. Find the 31st term of an AP. Whose 11th term is 38. And 16th term is 73. 11th term given. 16th term is given. Then we need to find 31st term. So A11 means we can directly write the equation. A plus 10D. That is equal 38. Then A16 means A plus 15D. That is given as 73. Then we can use the elimination method. So we can subtract that equations. Then we get 5D equal 35. 5D equal 35. A minus A will be 0. 15D minus 10D is 5D. 73 minus 38 is 35. So, D equal 35 by 5 equal 7. So, we can substitute that in the equation 1 or 2. Then we get A plus 10D. 10D means 10 into 7 equal 38. So, A equal 38 minus 7D that is equal negative 32. Okay. So, here A is equal negative 32. 
a is equal negative 32 d is equal 7 here we need to find 31st term so a 31 equal a plus 30 d that is equal negative 32 plus 30 into 7 negative 32 plus 210 that is equal 178 so here the 31st term is 178 11th term and 16th term are given so we write the equations and elimination method by doing the elimination method we will get the value of one of the variables here we got a d equal 7 that we can substitute in another equation and get the value of a after getting the values of a and d we can find the 31st term by using the equation a plus 30 d okay that's all next question question number h an ap consists of 50 terms of which third term is 12 and the last term is 106 find the 29th term an ap consists of 50 terms okay that means n equal 50 of which third term is 12 that means a plus 2d equal a plus 2d equal 12 last term is 106 that means a n equal 106 a 50 a n means a 50 that is equal 106 find the 29th term that means a plus 28 d we need to find so a and d we want to get so what is given a50 is given as 106. A3 is given as 12. So A50 means A plus N minus 1 into D. That is A plus 49D. That is equal 106. A3 is 12 means A plus 2D equal 12. So we can consider the equations. A plus 49D equal 106. And A plus 2D equal 12. So we can do the elimination method. And then we will get. 47d equal 94. 49d minus 2d, 47d. 106 minus 12 is, 106 minus 12 is 94. Okay, so 47d equal 94. So d equal 94 by 47, that is equal 2. Okay, so d equal 2. That we can substitute in the equation a plus 2d equal 12. So a plus 2 into 2 equal 12 a equal 12 minus 4 that is equal 8 so now we got the value of a and d a is a is h and d is 2 so that we can substitute in the equation a 29 equal a plus 28 d so 8 plus 28 into 2 28 into 2 we should do first so 56 then 8 plus 56 equal 64. So here we got the value of the 30th term. Okay. Sorry. 29th term. A29 we got as 64.